solve 10 tan square x minus 1 equal to 0 where x lies between 0 to pi. They told you to solve. So you should find the values for x. Satisfying this equation and also it should lie in this interval 0 to pi. Here you have pi. That means you should get the answer in radians. For that put your calculator in radians mode. I repeat put your calculator in radians mode. Now the given equation is 10 tan square x minus 1 equal to 0. Here you have tan x. So you should make tan x the subject. So remove all the connections connected to tan x. First you should remove minus 1. For that you add 1 on both sides. So you get 10 tan square x equal to 1. Now to remove 10 you divide by 10. So we get tan square x equal to 1 by 10. Now to get tan x we should shift square to the other side. So when we shift square to the other side it will become square root. Not only that you should consider both positive and negative as well. Okay now. Now we got tan x equal to plus under root 1 by 10 tan x equal to minus under root 1 by 10. Now to get the values for x. Here we have tan and here it is positive. So now we should check in what all quadrants is tan positive. It is all silver tea cups. Tan is positive in the first and in the third. To get an angle in the first, we do directly tan inverse under root 1 by 10. Now see man, this th angle in the third quadrant do not lie in the given interval. That means we do not need to find the angle in this quadrant. Understood? Now coming to this equation. To get the values for x, here it is tan and here it is negative. So now in what all quadrants is tan negative? It is negative in the second and in the fourth. To get an angle in the second, we should do pi minus tan inverse under root 1 by 10. See man, angle in the fourth quadrant do not lie in the given interval. That means we do not need to find the angle in the fourth quadrant. Understood? Now, this negative sign use is only for selecting the quadrants. Once quadrants have been selected, you should not place negative sign again here. Remember that. Now, before you calculate this, make sure cal your calculator is in radiance mode. Put this in the calculator, you should get 0 0.306. Put this in the calculator, you should get 2.84. So finally, x values are 0 0.306, 2.84. This is our answer. Am I clear?